when they left home to face the common enemy and free the country from the yoke of colonialism, none of the seven veterans of the liberation struggle knew that they would be declared heroes even when they did not live to see the dawn of independence. Theirs was a selfless sacrifice to ensure that Namibians chart their own destiny. This, we believe, is what our heroes and the heroines fought so hard and tirelessly for. It is what they gave their lives and shed their precious blood for. Therefore, the current and the future generations have a duty. They have a duty to honor the legacy of our glorious revolution. The legacy must continue to serve as the compass guiding our nation towards a brighter future. President Pohamba also used the occasion to remind Namibians of the peace and stability enjoyed today, saying it did not come on a silver platter. He thus urged the nation to ensure that the forthcoming election is violence-free. In their honor, we must all become the foot soldiers, soldiers in the struggle against the poverty and the underdevelopment, soldiers against the corruption and the violence against the women and children. The reburial was attended by representatives of all the three branches of the state, family and the public at large. Um, 